we're asked to select the expressions that are equivalent to the sum 35 plus 49. And 35 plus 49 equals 84. Looking at all the given expressions, we can evaluate these two ways. We can use the distributive property or we can follow the order of operations. For review, the distributive property is often referred to as multiplication across addition or subtraction. For example, if we have two times the quantity five plus three, to apply the distributive property, we distribute the two, which means we multiply the two by both terms inside the parentheses, which gives us two times five plus two times three. Similarly, if we have a difference in the parentheses, if we distribute the two, we have two times five minus two times three. And here are the steps for the order of operations. In this exercise, we will evaluate each given expression using the distributive property and using the order of operations. The first expression is five times the quantity seven plus nine. Using the distributive property, we distribute five. This is equal to five times seven plus five times nine. And now we follow the order of operations. So we multiply before adding. Five times seven is 35. We have 35 plus five times nine is 45. We can actually stop here because notice how this sum, 35 plus 45, is not equivalent to the sum 35 plus 49. But if we did find the sum, 35 plus 45 is 80. Let's evaluate this again using just the order of operations. We have five times the quantity seven plus nine. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Seven plus nine is 16. This simplifies to five times 16 which of course also gives us 80. Either way, the first expression is not equivalent to the given sum. The next expression is seven times the quantity five plus seven. Applying the distributive property, we distribute seven. The given expression is equal to seven times five plus seven times seven. Seven times five is 35, we have 35 plus seven times seven is 49. We can stop here because this sum is the same as the given sum, 35 plus 49, which means the expression is equivalent to the given sum. But of course, if we did find the sum, 35 plus 49 is 84. Again, let's evaluate this using the order of operations. We have seven times the quantity five plus seven. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Five plus seven is 12. This simplifies to seven times 12, which is 84, which is equivalent to the given sum. The next expression is seven times the quantity 10 plus two. Applying the distributive property, we distribute seven. This is equal to seven times 10 plus seven times two. Seven times 10 is 70. We have 70 plus seven times two is 14. Notice this sum is not exactly the same as the given sum, but it is equivalent because 70 plus 14 is 84, which is the same as the sum of 35 and 49. So the third expression is equivalent to the given sum. And let's also show this using the order of operations. We have seven times the quantity 10 plus two, simplifying inside the parentheses, 10 plus two is 12, giving us seven times 12, which is equal to 84. The next expression is five times the quantity seven plus 10. Applying the distributive property, we distribute five, which gives us five times seven plus five times 10, which is equal to 35 plus 50. 35 plus 50 is not equivalent to the sum of 35 plus 49. 35 plus 50 is equal to 85, not 84. Following the order of operations, again, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Seven plus 10 is 17. This simplifies to five times 17, which is equal to 85. So again, the fourth expression is not equivalent to the given sum. And for the last expression, we have seven times the quantity seven plus five. Using the distributive property, we distribute seven. This is equal to seven times seven plus seven times five, 
which is equal to 49 plus 35. Notice how 49 plus 35 is equivalent to the sum 35 plus 49 because addition is commutative, meaning if we change the order of the add-ends, the sum is the same or the sum is equivalent. 49 plus 35 is 84. So this last expression is equivalent to the given sum. Using the order of operations, Simplifying inside the parentheses, 7 plus 5 is 12. This simplifies to 7 times 12, which is equal to 84. When doing this type of problem, we wouldn't need to evaluate each expression using both methods, but it does show two ways to determine if a given expression is equivalent to the given sum. I hope you found this helpful.